Hello and welcome to The Lawn Hustle, season number one, episode number three. In today's episode, let's talk about setting goals. The word goal is thrown around a lot these days, in so much that at times it can become confusing as to what a goal really is. So I ask you, what is a goal? A goal is a desired result that you and your team are committed to achieving within a specific time frame. Goals can be daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, And you can have a five-year growth goal with a specific plan to reach the goals that you have set. Let's talk about a weekly goal. If my business professional lawn maintenance is doing a paver patio and I set a goal that by the end of the day on Thursday, We need the paper set and the polymetric sand swept in. Then I must break that goal down into daily goals in order to reach the ultimate goal. Monday, we have to do this. Tuesday, we have to accomplish that. Wednesday, Thursday, we have to do this in order to wrap the job up on Friday and walk away with another quality job done by professional lawn maintenance. That is a weekly goal broken down into daily goals to help me achieve the weekly goal. Dominican University of California researched and found that there is a direct correlation between setting goals and achieving success. When you started your business, and when I started my business, we did not start to fail. I will be the first to tell you, there have been many times I wanted to quit. There's been many times it would be easier to throw in the towel and go to work a nine to five. But I started my goal with success in mind. And I have determined that failure is not an option. If I have to tweak and adjust and make new goals in order to help me find the success that I desire for me and my family and my business, then I will do what it takes to be successful. Let me just say this. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Can I say it again? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Obviously, it's not just about setting goals. It's about achieving those goals. Goals, what are they and what are they not? Before setting a goal, you must have an understanding of what it is. It's a desired result. What do I want for my family? What do I want for my business? What do I want for my retirement? These are desired results. And I must come up with a plan 
of action to see the results come to fruition. A goal is a dream with a deadline. A goal is a dream with a deadline. What am I dreaming about for 2024? What new piece of equipment should I buy? How many clients should I take on? How many side hustle jobs should I take on to reach my goal? How much do I want to make this year? And what am I going to do to reach that goal? Goals are time sensitive. And they can be broken down into smaller goals to achieve the ultimate goal. For example, if my business is doing a privacy fence and I want to complete that project on a Friday, then Monday my goal is to drill all the post holes set the post. Tuesday, I'm going to start installing runners and pickets. Wednesday, I want to finish running out the pickets and build the gates. Thursday, I want to hang the gates and do a punch out, walk the perimeter of the fence looking for any loose screws or anything that needs attention and doing whatever it takes to complete the job on Friday. So every day I have a goal of what needs to be accomplished on that day to help me wrap up the job on Friday. Those are little goals that I can accomplish to reach my big specific goal of privacy fence completion. When it comes to your business, don't be afraid to dream big dreams. Don't be afraid to set big goals, but set realistic goals. Think outside the box, but remember, Unrealistic goals brings a feeling of defeat, which brings a feeling of, I should give up, I should quit, I'm not made for this, I'm not cut out for this. Set realistic goals. In running a business, there's plenty of times that I have felt like giving up and felt like quitting, felt like throwing in the towel, felt like going to work for somebody else, finding something else to do completely. Running a business is hard, but the end result must motivate me to keep going. What motivates you to hustle? I was asked one time, what is your motivation? My answer was, when I wake up early in the morning, between 4.30 and 5 o'clock, and I stumble to the coffee pot, I walk through a house that has a mortgage, I pass my kids' bedroom, I look out the window and see a truck that has a payment. And those things become my motivation because I know my children need a place to live. They need clothes on their back. 
they need food on the table. My wife deserves those nice things. And that is what motivates me to hustle. That's what motivates me to set a goal. That's what motivates me to be determined and committed to reach the goals that I have set. When you set a goal, it gives you a sense of purpose. When you set a goal, it gives you a sense of control. Now that we know what a goal is, what goals are not is equally important. Goals are not objectives. If your goal is to learn to mow beautiful stripes, the objective is to practice with your mower until you lay a straight, beautiful stripe. Goals are not resolutions. I don't know about you, but I hate New Year's resolutions. They're usually broken within the first week, but I digress. Let me get back on track. Goals are not resolutions because resolutions are often temporary and they give you a short-term gratification. And I'm not in the lawn care business for the short term. I'm here for the long term. I'm not here just to get by this month. I'm here to get by until I retire. A resolution is a decision to do or not to do something. And a goal is something that you want to achieve. When you set goals, you identify what you want and what you need to achieve it. Goals motivate you to take action. Every journey begins with one step. Now that you know what a goal is, and what a goal is not. Let's talk about how to set a goal. When setting goals, you have to ask yourself, what inspires me? What am I passionate about? If it's a mowing service only, then I'm going to be the best I possibly can be until I am the best in my community. If it's landscape design and install, I'm going to be the best at installing mulch, river rock, decorative stone, whatever the case might be. I'm going to be the best that I can be until I'm the best in my community. Is it installing hardscaping? Is it aquascape? Understand that your goal should be meaningful to you. If it doesn't matter to you, it's not going to matter to your team. I need to say that again. If your goal doesn't matter to you, it doesn't matter to your team. Because if you are a leader, you're going to project that excitement and that enthusiasm to become the best in your community. And your team members are going to buy into the vision and buy into the dream. And they will work hard to help you complete the goal. So your goals must be meaningful. And when you look back on the goal, it must provide you a sense of pride once you meet it. When I started mowing grass, I could not for the life of me 
keep a line straight. It might be because of the equipment that I had then. Now, I only run grasshopper mowers. A big shout out to grasshopper. But I would practice and practice and practice until I learned the art of mowing a straight stripe. And I would look back on that yard and you're as guilty as I am driving by a property and telling the family, I mow that property. Look at those stripes. Set goals that you can control. Set goals that you can control. Unrealistic goals create disappointment. In goal setting, you are literally imagining your future. In goal setting, you are determining how much money do I want to make? And how many hours am I willing to invest in order to make that money? I said don't set unrealistic goals. Set smart goals. Goals must be specific. They must be measurable. They must be obtainable. They must be relevant. And they must be time bound. Goals must be specific and challenging. Goals must make it clear when you have reached your goal. Goals must be obtainable. If you only have a riding lawn tractor and a push mower, your goal should never be to make six figures a year. It's not going to happen. That's an unrealistic goal. But if you have several 52 or 61 inch cut grasshopper mowers and you have employees to help you run two or three uh, crews, then that goal is reachable. It's got to be obtainable. And it's got to be relevant to your business. And it must contribute to your company's success. Set time-bound goals. An open-end goal with no time restraint is just a dream. Add time limitations to your dream and it becomes a goal. If there's someone listening to this podcast that has learned the value of setting goals, I wish you would get a hold of me. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Search professional, lowercase lawn, professional, lowercase maintenance. Give us a like and a follow and a shout out. Let's work on this together. You can be and I can be successful. But our success will be determined by how big of a goal we set and how realistic is the goal that we set. And what smaller goals can I set to help me reach my ultimate goal? Thank you for listening to The Lawn Hustle. 
We'll see you again next week with another exciting episode of The Lawn Hustle.